Welcome back to the lab. Having a good place to briefly store some information is a profoundly powerful tool for the analog designer to have. One of the simplest ways to achieve this is with the delay line. This is the schematic for a tapped analog delay line that I've concocted using discrete capacitors and op-amp buffers that have their enable pins toggled. This forms a chain of sample and holds. There's a very distinct advantage to this over the typical way to form analog delay, which is a charge transfer device. This is actually a potential transfer device, and thus the variance in the capacitors used to construct it is not reflected as noise in signals that emerge from the line. So I'm going to do a brief demo of this thing. I actually have an 8-tap version of this circuit taped to the face of my oscilloscope. I'm going to show you that it's operating by injecting some triangle waves into the input and you can see the delay there in action. So one of the simplest things you can do with the delay line is to form a finite impulse response transversal filter. I've put together a simple one here just with two taps and equal value resistors just to show you one simple example of that. So I'm going to switch one of these outputs to that tap and I'm going to separate these signals on the screen so that it's a little more clear that this is the, that triangle wave delayed twice and summed together with equal weighting. So using this particular thing you can do with delay lines, you can achieve stuff like a Hilbert transformer or um, even general purpose convolution if you can use four quadrant multipliers as the tap weights instead of fixed resistors. So if the, any of you have seen my convolution engine demo from last month, it's actually just a meeting of this technology with four quadrant multiplier technology and one third element, which is very similar to the analog devices SMP18, a parallel memory register where the signal doesn't traverse through the network. So I think that's it for now. I got I had a few other things I, I could do, but it's a, it's a little complicated as it is, so I think I'm just going to leave you with that. Stay tuned for more demos and stuff involving analog delay. Thanks for watching.